I got three sensors that can measure humidity, BME280. Next is DHT22. And the last one is SHT21. So which one can give it exactly measuring? Let's test it. I tried to record three sensors in the same condition, but three sensors give me three results. I don't know which result can be trusted. So which one measure exactly? For testing those sensors, we need an external humidity meter. You can use any commercial type on market for testing. This one is based on mechanism, so its response is very slow. In next step, we have to make standard humidity environment for testing. Fortunately, we can easily make a standard humidity environment with salt, so-called sodium chloride. Come into your kitchen to take out some salt, and then just add a little water to make it saturation, because saturated sodium chloride will make a perfect humidity environment at 75%. Once more again, come in kitchen to take out food container, put inside with sodium chloride, humidity meter, and three sensors. We also need a thermocouple to test temperature measuring ability of three sensors. I will put the probe inside the box to measure temperature. Leave the box about 3 hours to make sure humid inside is stable at 75% by saturated sodium chloride. We will use Arduino Uno to get value from 3 sensors. As we can see here, the external humid meter point to 75%. As our expectation, we also wish our 3 sensors also read about 75% humidity. Let's see result on monitor screen. As you can see here, three sensors give a three different result. BME sensors is 67%, SHT sensor is 81%, and DHT sensors is 69%. However, temperature of three sensors is same with 28 degrees C. Let's see temperature now in the box. It is 31 degrees C now. So now I will try to get offset for temperature and humidity of sensor BME280. This offset will make the sensor reading to be same with the mocopole and humid meter. Next, I will make offset for two remain sensor with same principle.
Okay, after download the code, we got temperature result of 3 sensors is 31 degrees C and humid of 3 sensors is around 75%. To make sure our offset is exactly for measuring, we have to confirm it with second point. We will need humid absorber to make second point. Humid absorber will absorb humid in the air and it will help to make low humidity environment. We will put them in the box again and leave there 3 more hours. The humid meter reading now is 40%. And the temperature now is 33 degrees C. Let's see result of 3 sensor on monitor screen. We can see here, temperature result of 3 sensor are 30 degrees C. They are same with the mocapole. It means our offset for temperature reading is exactly. However, humidity result of 3 sensor is not same together and not equal to humid meter. So we have to make calibration for it. To make calibration curve, I will delete offset to get reading value at standard humidity 40%. So this is sensor reading at standard humidity 40%. I will record it in Excel file. In Excel file, I will record sensor reading at humidity standard 75% by sodium chloride and 40% humidity by humid absorber. In Arduino code, I will use map function to make calibration curve for sensor. In each sensor, I will call map function and fill it with the input reading and output standard. After that, I will download the code and see result reading. You can see here, the reading of DHT22 is nearly 40%. It means the near humid meter. I will apply same procedure for another two sensors. Now, reading result of 3 sensors are same and same with humidity meter at 40%. To make sure our calibration curve is correctly, we have to check it again with sodium chloride to see if its reading is 75% or not. If not, we have to do calibration again. Fortunately, reading of 3 sensor is around 75%. It means our calibration is successful. In next experiment, I try to test three sensors in different environment. In box with chloride sodium, outside the box, 
and inbox with humid absorber. As we can see here, response of three sensors are same. After calibration successful, we can use humid sensor to measure humid in the room. And you can use software called Blink. By Blink, you can see temperature and humidity of your room via internet. Thanks for your watching. Now I hope you can do calibration for your humidity sensor. See you next time in next video.